Hey, how's it going guys? Asad here. In this section of this course, we will take everything we've learned so far and look at more practical real-world examples how WebAssembly might work. I used. I will try to keep the C code as basic as possible with the main purpose being the implementation of the logic within the WebAssembly module. Also I mentioned before with the only integer and floats being the supported by natively WebAssembly and being the main strength of languages such as C and C++ we won't be using any string types. In fact I will stick to the integer only but they are interchangeable with floats just something you keep in mind. So with that said, let's start with the section of this course by looking at very basic comparison arithmetic operation in WebAssembly module compared to the same operation in JavaScript. A microbenchmark if you will to do, this will implement a simple prime number checker in both JavaScript and C. Learn the same range of number through those checker function. If you are not familiar with the concept of prime number, it simply means a number that only evenly divide by itself all one to I have reset this project we've been working with up to until now. We have our node server which is still learning as before and this index.html in which in which we will link an mscripten generated wasm with prime.js which will create and compile in a minute first off let's say the range of the number to check for prime number is so from 0 to this number const prime equals to 100 for now we will crack this up a bit later first up i will add a javascript prime checker which i have simply copied from a online resources as as this kind of architect functions are pretty standard this function here returning true if the number argument is a prime number of false if it's not. We can add the same to our wasm. I'll create a new C file and live again prime.c, C prime number checker and and post that exact same JavaScript function which we can convert to C with the few minor syntax changes. This will return an integer C not having a boolean type so just one R0 instead of for true or false. Making this a function with the same name argument, the for loop index being of type int double equals being an equivalent of JavaScript triple equals return geo instead of false. Adding all important closing semicolon and change this return statement to a turn or the operator with the result of 1 if true and 0 is false. Again equivalenting with the standard comparison operator not equal. There we now have the exact same as prime function in both our native JavaScript code and once we compiled our WebAssembly module. So let's do that in order to test this two function emcc compiling lib and that's done. Restart the server, reload and test this in the dev tools console is prime is javascript function person will be underscore is prime passing one which is false so not a prime number three true being divisible by both itself and one and five as well so six not so our prime javascript function work as expected try the same with the WebAssembly version six we get zero or false and three return one or true so matching the javascript function output we are now set to do basic arithmetic comparison between these two functions which will do by running a loop from zero to this number here prime and checking each other number in the range i'll set the javascript loop to demonstrate let count equals zero being the number of primes found in the range just so we can be sure javascript and webassembly does the same for it i equals zero i less than prime i plus plus and in which we'll check if prime is passing in i increment the count by one meaning we found a prime number i log that count out Restart the server, reload, we get 25 prime number between 0 to 100. Of course, to actually measure this more accurately, we will want to organize it a bit better. I'll make this loop its own function, calling it check prime it 
taking a num argument being the range to check wrap that and change prime in this loop to that argument num returning count. I'll return this again lock out the return value of check primes passing at primes or 100 reload and the same with 25 now in order to run this javascript function against the same webassembly loop i'll first wait for the wasm to be ready we don't want to overhead our loading wasm influence the result of javascript loop if you recall from previous lesson we can do this by setting a callback function on the on the mscripten module object on runtime initialization property once this callback function fires we know that it's ready to be can be possessed with both tests i'll do the javascript first well want to measure the time this takes so assign the start time to a variable called gstart setting the start time with the performance now being a dev tool help a function for measuring performance in the browser then assign the number of primes found in js prime check prime as before gr 200 and as soon as this is complete we can log out the result for javascript js the number of prime found on the third log being the time taken all round this will do the math dot round performance dot now being the finishing time or the time of this log message minus the start time which will give us the difference or the time taken dividing the final time by thousand to give a second instead of many seconds check here i'll copy the exact same test for our webassembly module renaming the variable c start and c prime we don't have a matching webassembly function for this check prime loop yet but we'll create that in a second with the log message reading c c prime minus c start this year we can add the same check prime loop function in our c code copy this returning integer same argument my count and it and I also the if statement only needing and closing semicolon and the same for the return statement so the again same exact same loop as we have in our JavaScript code this time being learned from the way the assembly module with its own prime function we compile this add it, and we get an error fix that and try again we get another error, fix that again and compile again, go undone and when we are loading the word I'm waiting for to be ready. Taking a start time running the number G200 through our JavaScript prime checker and logging out the time taken to do that. Then as soon as that log message is done, we run the exact same process using our equivalent wasn't code. By no means a perfect test, but it should give at least a an idea how WebAssembly compares to JavaScript. When performing somewhat intense numbering processing over to the browser reload and we get a way too quick result to mean anything. Although both functions did find same 25 as expected, our range this time will be up to 10,000. So this time take a bit more work and give us a better result. Reload, they are still quick, but only 22 milliseconds for our WebAssembly. We can go higher, say 200,000. Remember, checking for prime number get exponentially more difficult the bigger the number as each and every number under the niche to be also run against the number to be checked and reload, which leave us waiting this time round. JavaScript compiles in roughly 9.3 seconds. Now waiting for our WebAssembly and that's also done taking only 5.5 seconds to do the exact same process. So as you can see the, from this very rudimentary test when you're dealing with a lot number, clenching WebAssembly has a clear advantage. Again, you might not see the performance difference in all scenarios as JavaScript is incredibly optimized and very fast, but as WebAssembly matures the grow, this gap will grow and allow us to reality harness the full potential of compiled languages. So guys, that's it for today's video. See you guys in the next tutorial.